75 hard on vacation is extremely tough. I think one of the things that I realized about doing the 75 hard on vacation, because like I said when I started this challenge, is that I knew that every single thing that I was going to do for the challenge wasn't going to go my way just because things that are out of my control are going to happen in life and that's kind of what this vacation showed me. And I would say that it actually calmed my anxiety, which is one of the points was of doing this challenge was to like calm anxiety and kind of give you a purpose in doing certain things. And I would say that's helped a lot because I couldn't follow everything, you know, as strict as I could. Like I followed my meal plan as well as I could. I followed, you know, working out as well as I could with snowboarding. So that was pretty cool. Today's our last day. We're going home. Just took some pictures out in the ice. This ice is super thick and we're gonna head home now. It's been great. I see actually a couple owl boxes out there which is kind of cool and we'll see you guys back at home. Dream School is still the best flavor. I won't forget my first YouTube video ever. James and I went to 7-Eleven and I got this same rain, the orange Dream School, because it came out around that time. And I remember I did the most awkward interview because I wasn't trying to cuss on YouTube. Dude, that tastes pretty freaking good. Because I was like, oh, you know, it was my first time with, you know, YouTube ever. I didn't want to, you know, get the video taken down or anything. So I was like really careful on cussing. And I was like, this is pretty freaking good but yeah best flavor of rain we're gonna be hitting some legs today i know after a snowboarding trip i mean am i hitting legs it's just a muscle group that i'm always i would say worried about because it was a lagging body part of mine way back when i was younger because all i did was train upper body so i'm always very conscious about training my legs changing up the split and whatnot so we're going to be doing a little more of a power lifting style sort of split it's still going to involve squat like i was doing beforehand can make the workout nearly as long i'm going to be here an hour at max just because i want to get home i want to get to bed i also want to finish up this youtube video because i'm not supposed to record on this day according to my schedule a warm-up we're gonna get ready. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna be able to hit heavy weights for today. I hit 405, like I said in my last video, but I don't think we're gonna be able to go that heavy. Today. And for some odd reason, 390 went up easier than 385 did. I did 385 for two. 390 just flew up, so I guess I could do 405. Maybe. I'm not gonna do it today just because after snowboarding and whatnot, it's just been it's been a rough day after four days of snowboarding. So I'm surprised I could even do that. Pretty happy about it. Try to push 425 by the end of this month. I do not look good. And I got the freaking headphones on. Sorry, I just look super unprofessional when I'm talking to the camera and I have these around my neck. I just always have these things around my neck. But you know, we had a six and a half hour drive all the way from Idaho to Washington today. So I'm not gonna beat myself up too bad about how I look. And we also just got done with a leg day, which was very short. Like I said, I was only spending an hour here. That was all I intended to do. And it usually takes longer because I'm recording. So it was a short workout, but it was also good just to get back into the gym and work out because like I said, still earlier that I'm still doing the 75 hard. So my workout looks Really consisted of snowboarding because it was a four and a half five hour workout every single day anywho i wanted to talk to you guys about 
more so an update on my stress, anxiety, and depression. This setting isn't necessarily where I wanted to do it, but I need to get this video out to you guys. I just thought it was something that I should update you guys on, considering the fact that I came out with the video about two weeks or a month ago. If you guys haven't checked it out, go check it out. It kind of tells the storyline of how I ended up in that situation. But looking back at that video, something caught my attention, and I honestly really can't explain how anxiety and stress kind of came over my mind. Sure, there were some factors that I exterminated out of my life, but it was kind of weird because as soon as I got back, it just settled in. I think there was a lot of things subconsciously that I didn't really think about that were causing stress and anxiety. But overall, like I said, I just want to give you guys an update on it. So right now, I'm doing a lot better than I was at the time that I made that video. And even before that, like during that time period, like I said, I was dealing with intrusive thoughts and just so much more things that were just so, so, so bad. And I was dealing with a lot of loss too. Like I, subconsciously, I knew that I had lost some things, you know, like a girlfriend, uh, kind of a dream in a sense, even though that wasn't the plan initially with like Houston stuff. Houston was just a big mess and all. And I'm gonna stop talking about it because I think I bring it up in every video. But I just wanna let you guys know that I'm doing a lot better and like I said in the beginning of this video, I've realized I kind of wanted to take my content into a different direction. And with that being said, I just kind of want to take my content into a direction where I can incorporate fitness and like mental health stuff and kind of show people that are maybe dealing with the stress, anxiety, and depression that I was going through that you can use fitness as a coping mechanism or you can use something else that involves your body, so overall fitness, to overcome fear, overcome anxiety, overcome depression because me going through that, I don't want anyone in the world going through that. And I truly mean that. Like, I really don't want anyone going through that. And, you know, even if it means that I don't do fitness or YouTube for a living, I just honestly kind of want to be a life coach and just help people not go through that, you know? Because one of my biggest lessons that I learned and why stress and anxiety actually occurs because I'm not really that great at planning, but you know, obviously I'm becoming better at it now because I don't want to fall into that trap again and I know it's something that I need to change in my life. So I've been developing a plan and you know, through developing that plan, I'll learn a lot and I'll be able to take that knowledge that I learn and apply it to, you know, teachings to other people if I become a life coach or I'm able to do the fitness and life coach at the same time. Overall, I'm doing a lot better. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys did, be sure to give it a like. If any of you guys are new here do not forget to press the subscribe button because you guys know i will be back and as always the sky is the limit and until next time